This is a new video taking a look at the new AI navigation system that is available in Unity. First of all, you will have to go into the window, package manager, and actually install the AI navigation. Okay, it doesn't come installed by default anymore. So once you've installed it, you may very well see this kind of uh, overlay whereby you can actually switch the nav mesh surface on or off. I haven't baked one yet, so you won't see it. But you will notice this, you can right click on it and choose to either collapse it down or expand it or even hide it. Okay, if you want to get it back in the scene view, you've got the little dots, you've got your overlay menus and you can switch it on or off here. Okay, so I'll leave it on for now. Um, to create an actual nav mesh surface, all you need to do is go to uh, game object, the new AI and create a nav mesh surface. Um, you can choose which agent type this is going to affect. Okay, at the moment I've only got humanoid, but I'm going to set up two different uh, agent types for two different characters. Um, and then simply you can bake. You no longer need to make all of your objects static in order to bake. Okay, it will just automatically bake. And then as soon as I switch on my nav mesh, you can see where that is going. Now, one of the big things that you will notice straight away is that it is actually cutting out um, spaces for the characters themselves. And if those characters start to move, those spaces kind of stay in place. So what you need to do there is basically switch off any characters that are dynamic that are gonna move and then go back to nav mesh surface and bake. That way it will not cut them out um, and then they will move perfectly fine. Uh, if, for example, you wanted, let's say, this column not to be included uh, for some reason, you can then add uh, a nav mesh modifier and the modifier could remove the object. Okay, uh, under the nav mesh surface, if I then bake, you'll notice that that gets removed. Okay, but I don't want to do that, so I'll just do Control Z a few times. Uh, let me put the column. I've removed that nav mesh surface and bake. And at any point, you can switch off your nav mesh so that you don't see it in your scene. As long as you've got gizmos uh, switched on, you can see it. Um, and I want to give this larger player uh, a different nav mesh agent. So to do this, you would go to Window, AI, and make sure you're clicking on the new navigation, not the old obsolete one. And from here, you can actually define a whole number of different agent types. So if I click plus, uh, you can rename this. Let's call it uh, Enemy 2. This one has a radius of 1. Okay, so that it's a little bit wider. That means that this particular character probably won't go through that door. We'll have to walk all the way around to actually get to the player. This one can probably go through that little doorway. Okay, uh, you can change uh, the values on any of these uh, types. You've also got different walkable areas as well. You can put in as many of these as you like. These ones are the default walkable, not walkable, and jump. Okay, so uh, for enemy one, uh, I probably want to click add component and give it a nav mesh agent. Okay, uh, and obviously I can define the speed. Everything stays the same as it used to be. Um, and for enemy two, I also want to give it a nav mesh agent. Agent type is enemy two on this one. Uh, on enemy one, it is choosing to use humanoid. Okay, at any point you can change that over. Um, everything is good, so what I need to do now is basically write a script, which I have done previously. All right, using the Unity Engine AI, nav mesh agent, make sure it's got the player. It will automatically get the nav mesh agent and set the destination to the player position. So now it's just a case of placing this on there and dragging the player object into the slot. Quite easy. I've got that, my nav mesh surface. Ah, agent type is humanoid. Uh, so what I need to do there, I need to add a component, another nav mesh surface, 
and make sure this is set to enemy two. Okay, so, and then basically bake again. All right, so I bake a second time and what I will see this time for this uh, second one, if I switch on my surfaces um, and switch off my first one is that this will not allow this second character to actually go through that doorway. Notice that there's a big gap there. But for my first one, this character can walk through there. All right, so you need different bakes for different character types. Switch them both on. So that now when I play, great, they're both moving. Notice that the bigger one has to go all the way around. Okay, they both get to the player. Now, if I go back into my scene and let's say take the player, I'm just going to move my player down here. Notice this one has to go all the way around. The little one can go through the door. If I go back up here, notice they're chasing my player. Um, let's come back down here. Excellent. All right, so both characters are walking a different way. You can also add a nav mesh modifier directly from the game object AI and the nav mesh modifier volume. Okay, um, so let's say that I put a safe area for my player up here. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. Um, and I will make this one not walkable and it will affect all agents or if you have multiple agents you can actually only uh, affect certain ones by selecting them uh, and then once I've done that if I go back to my nav mesh surface switch this on uh, make sure I switch my characters off there um, I can then rebake and notice that that particular area now gets cut out of the nav mesh so if I now switch my characters back on and in the game scene I begin to play. Okay, they can find my character, no problem. But then as soon as my character kind of walks into this not walkable area, notice they can't reach me now because that is a not walkable area. Okay, but as soon as I come back into this blue area they can now chase me around. Um, all of these, by the way, are available in the Package Manager, AI Navigation, and in the Samples section. You can download, import those, uh, and it actually gives you a few scenes that show you how to use this AI Navigation system, including using um, the NavMesh link, which is used for allowing uh, AI characters to jump across gaps. Okay, so hopefully that helps you to get uh, started with AI navigation. If you're using an older project that has the older AI system, uh, it should still work. You can upgrade it. Uh, but if you want to add your own AI navigation system in these newer versions of Unity, you will need to use this new system.